Hello, welcome back. Last time I came to the chasm and did a few rooms in it and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I liked some of the stuff I saw there. I managed not to actually get stuck on anything. Also, I found the master ball. It's here. Also, supposedly, I forgot to read a scroll in the entrance room. Uh, let's see, I looked at this one, but I did not see that. Uh, I once asked one of the Galbans if they knew a way past the strong currents that make it impossible to traverse the cavern, and he told me the king could point this uh, could point the way. But when I asked the Goblin King, he just laughed at me. Goblins can be so unhelpful sometimes. Strong currents, like air currents over the pits, so you can't ride the rafts or something. Uh, I need to get through here. There's a way. Was there stuff through... Yeah, that's a required room. Eh, well, I'm going this way, so I guess I'm committed. I like how all the checkpoints glow red. <laughs> that's a nice touch. I know they don't do that on their own. You have to specifically put a light behind them. Pressure plates and goblin and serpent. Before goblins. Okay. So that's a serpent fetcher. Do I need to arrange the platforms in some way to make it go here, maybe? That looks probable. And it has to be long enough. So here, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, wait. That's not long enough. Uh, Bethro couldn't stand there. Anything that goes in there is going to stay. Can I fetch a goblin somehow? I don't think so. Alright, so... Wait, that opens. Oh, I see. That opens... So this doesn't matter anymore. Okay, so just get the serpent in here. Stand there so it goes north. And opens the way to those goblins. And... There's a trapdoor here. I see. Okay. I can do that. So step one, just get the goblin to the mainland. Because I don't think I'm going to get all... Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get all the way across there in one go. This should be easy enough. I mean, that's that's good enough as it is. Here, serpent. Okay, so now... Keep it here, keep it here. Don't go getting yourself killed. I'm gonna need you. Uh, that's a death spot, but it probably won't find its way all the way there. Probably. Let's see here. I mean, even something messy like that... I could probably do a lot better. In fact, do I even need this? Yes, I do. Uh, do I? Yes, I do. Uh, I mean, I can probably work with this. If the serpent's close enough to me, then it shouldn't be in too much danger. Yeah, it's close enough. Sure. Okay. Wait. No, that is still a problem. Did I need to shorten it? I did. Okay, so you need to be no longer than... Well, two, I guess. Okay, so it needs to be a little serpent. The reason for that is because this has to be up at the time that this is pressed, and pressure plates release end of turn, so it needs to be a turn boundary between stepping off this and stepping on that. So Serpent needs to be two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do that by... Hmm. Uh, bringing it in here, I think. And doing this for a little bit. That won't work. Not from that angle. Like, I was planning to do something like that. Actually, maybe I could work with this. If you don't go south, you didn't. And if you do go north, you did. 
Okay, that's adequate. Didn't even have to close that. Okay. Alright, goblins. Uh, okay, so goblin combat. If I do this, that's bad. If I do this, that's kind of good. I think that'll do. So I can bring them in here and stab one at a time. Ooh. If you would just go there. Thank you for obliging my request. Okay, good stuff. Oh yeah, this room. That's interesting. So this is these are locking the goblins in place. Those are force arrows. So no going in here where the goblins are. Um, don't drop trapdoors yet. Not until oh, but I do need to drop them before all the goblins are dead. I need two goblins to survive. There's maybe some possibility of retrieving. Whoa. I'm retrieving those. Let's, uh, let me check that. So I can't really do that. I'm just, don't mind any of this. If I wanted you to come with me, I get one that way. <laughs> okay, yes, I believe I can manipulate these into the place where I would want them, right? Almost. Oh, you won't sit still there, huh? Right, because that's a... Because hmm. he's already adjacent to a sword, so he has no preferred direction, so they just want to go northwest. So fetching those might be tough. What if I do it from the south instead of the whichever direction that was? And I were to do like that, I guess. Oh, I think that works. And then if I wanted to, I just left that little platform in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, okay, so I could totally fetch those two. So let's just focus on killing these using two of those to kill the serpents. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Now, I suppose here's the trick. I get both sides of this at once. Which does make that a little bit hazardous, but I think I can deal with it. This is a little too wide space that will probably work to my benefit if I do something like... Ooh, that's not good. Uh, that's good, though. I found a dance. Okay. Why are you... How did you end up there? Go, go, go north. I want you up north. Well, now you just traded places. Alright, so with two goblins... How do I kill two goblins again? You'll come to me like that. Okay, it's getting closer to what I want. There we go. It's been a little while. <laughs> My goblin combat reflexes are not as honed as they once were. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Hmm. Will I die if I do this? Not immediately. No, I think I'm fine. <clears throat> So I need to get on the other side. Uh, hmm. Okay, so both on the same side of me is good, generally. But this isn't really working. Okay, let's do something different. So instead of letting you go in there... I can't get just one at once, can I? Maybe. Yeah, I can. Uh, uh-huh. Man, I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. I guess I'm just, just rusty at dealing with goblins. If I get you trapped on that force arrow, then that'll be good for me. Because I need to, well, good enough. 
Wait a second. No, no, no. Goblins need to go in there. Right, it's not that I drop all the trap doors before the goblins. It's, it's that I drop all the trap doors to kill the goblins. Oh! So this is... Once again, so here's the problem I keep having with this hold. I mean, it's entirely my own problem, not the hold's problem, but... I am so used to, um, seven or eight brain holds that when there's a mechanism in a room that I just don't actually have to interact with, it surprises me. Because I always, by default in a draw room, expect to have to do the most complicated or the second most complicated thing. When I can do something simpler and, like, ignore something in the room or, you know, um, not use it in the most complicated way, it's just... It's just not what I ever expect. Okay, so I need to... Oh, hang on. There may still be a puzzle here. Because without going in there, I need to kill the... Go, okay. Alright, I have an idea for how to do that. Let's go back a little bit. Oops. And just go down here. Well, that's less convenient. I liked the uh, the spot that I had because it came with some protection. I can get just one goblin at a time. Okay, so I think what I want to do is to park you on that force arrow, but no farther south. So you stay there for the moment. You come and do a similar thing over here. Yes. Okay, so... I think I want to drop the trap doors without the goblins moving. And then I'm going to have to kill them against the serpent bodies? Maybe? I'm not really sure how that's going to work, though. Oops. Hold on. Um, okay, so you're going to move as soon as I do that. Let me just deal with this one here first. So let's see. I th think if you're there and I turn this way... Okay, that worked. Let's do it again. Uh -huh. Will you stay? No. Um, yeah, this one seems like more of a problem. How would I kill that goblin? If I can't go in there myself... I think I put the wrong thing in there. Maybe the rock golem has to go in to... At least one rock golem ha would have to go in there. That sounds hard, but possible. Okay, so am I sure I cannot kill this goblin? Reasonably, because he has both a north and a, a west way to dodge. And I can't put any obstacles there. So yeah, getting a rock golem in there would be much more optimal. So I'm thinking these spots are where I'd want to park the golems. Go deal with the goblins over in this area. Somehow get around them and drop those trapdoors. That's much harder and more interesting. I like it. I wonder if there's a simpler way. Goblins and golems are the only things that I have to deal with the serpents. So I think that's how it's going to have to be. Actually, I think it's going to have to be a goblin down here and a golem here, because I cannot get both of the golems at a time. One is always going to have to die, right? Uh... No. No, no. Okay, I can do this. And it's fine. At least he doesn't have to die in the way I thought he would. I don't care about these in that case. Um, let me just go ahead and park... One of... oh boy, I have... this is this is too many goblins. Um, 
This is a three wide space, but it's not long enough to be useful for goblin killing, I think. Let's see, if I squish you all against that wall... Well, I, I can't. Okay, so... Um, this becomes an issue. Alright, so I'm going to take a strategy here where I bring a goblin onto this arrow and leave it there. I, he didn't stay. Um, where's a stable... So I'm going to do that and come back for him. He won't be killing the serpent or anything. I'm just, just stashing him there temporarily. This is not great. I can live by doing this. Uh, no, I can't. Can I live by doing this? Doesn't seem likely. No. This is tricky. So all I really need is... Well, what if I what if I didn't let as many goblins come after me as that? Can I... Is that an option I have? Maybe. Okay, there we go. I stalled them. Alright, so with just two I can deal with them. Because what I can do... Is the same thing I wanted to do earlier. I'm gonna park you... Up there. Leave you there for a moment. And actually, you can block your friend, then just stay there for a minute, and die. Uh, this is okay, I think, because the golem can be moved in through this. Okay, and I need one goblin down there. I can just stick him in now. I don't have to wait. Uh, wait. Yes, I do. Okay, so wait to move him any farther than that. So don't step too far south. You know, let's not... Let's save that for last. Uh... Okay, so what I want to do is just kill this one guy. And drop some trap doors. So nice thing about goblins is I can move them around corners in ways that other monsters, like rock golems, will not be able to. So if I want to position them in a place without disrupting other people's positioning, it's easier. I only need... Well, you know, since I have this guy here... Oh yeah, like I was saying, I can actually get both of these, so I might as well take advantage of the fact that I can use both golems and not have to deal with a goblin here. Okay, well, sure. So then what this allows me to do is this. There we go. Okay, you'll stay there obediently and let me kill you in that spot. The more important one is up here, and I dropped this trap door, so I'm gonna have to drop all the other trap doors to get one in. But that was convenient for goblin killing, so I'm still okay with it. I just have to stash a golem away while I deal with the rest of this. Oh boy, so many goblins. Uh, how do I minimize? I minimized, uh, sort of. Yeah, got just one. Let's see, I'm gonna do this, uh, this. Nice. I'm gonna pull you through here. Good. Good. And die. Nice. Okay. So with that open, you're gonna go in here. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Okay, that's a solution. I get the feeling that's not how I was supposed to solve that. But it worked. So I'll take it. Ah, more of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna see what's down here first. Cracked orbs. Oh boy, this looks 
like something. Um, so that's my exit. There's a scroll. Why serpents? So they just, I think this is just a combat room. Hmm. So manipulate such that as many as possible are standing on that door before they actually step on that so I can kill them all? Or something like that? <coughs> that's what I feel like I want to do. I mean, that's... Is that as many as I'm going to get? Could I... Bring some of you over, maybe. I don't think so. Also, how am I going to kill the serpent? Let's see, so how much, how many do I have to move through all this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, okay, so I have to use this pretty efficiently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I can waste up to two spaces. Hmm. Uh, I want to do this differently. Instead of releasing you, I'm going to get you two. Yes. Now you're going to stay there, right? Yes. Okay, that's kind of good. Yes, that's what I wanted. Now, you you won't stay if I do that. Um, so I'm going to have to do this, I think. Okay. Oop. Okay, that works. You're loose. Uh, why don't you go down here and join some friends? Ooh, you don't have any friends yet. I'll get you some friends. Uh, oh, hmm. Um, I can keep you just away from that. There we go. Let's see. There we go, that's what I wanted. Nice. Nice. Uh, this isn't so nice. I guess I want to do this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Serpent loose. Serpent not dead. That's bad. Serpent, there's no way I'm going to be able to manipulate into going west. So I think I have messed up if I have left that one alive. Let's redo that because that wasn't too hard. But I do need to deal with the serpent. So can I just do that now? I think if I... Position these a certain way. Like, just stay, stay, and then do that. Uh, and then do that. And then do... Huh? Does a serpent move before the goblins? It does. Well, one of them. Okay, so that's just not working itself out. See, that's what I want. I want to make that formation happen. Um, can I make that formation happen? Well, I can, but it's not too useful. It just, it's just not, they just don't. They don't do what they're supposed to do. There we go. I, they did what they were supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> just had to fiddle for long enough. Okay. That's fine. Stay. Get some friends in there somehow. Like this. Uh, like, like that. There we go. Okay. Sure. Sure. Almost. There. Okay. Uh, kinda wanna deal with this other serpent now, but I don't think I get the chance, so let's do this. Alright, so what did I do? I parked you there and did that. Mm -hmm. 
Good stuff. Chase, 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 and kill. Alright, so same thing here. Looks like it. Can I synchronize that? Looks as though I... Uh, yeah, there we go. Cool. Spool up. Spool up the right way. There we go. Okay. Good. And one friend for you. I have perfect efficiency so far. Hey, right, go, go this way. Okay. Good stuff. What scroll say? The goblins have gone insane. A large number of them are running around screaming. They blame me, have thrown me in here, and said they'll eat them, eat me. The thumping headache since I got here can mean only one thing. He has made it here. This is bad. I need to get as far away as possible. What? You get a headache when somebody's around? Well, that was a neat room. I would not have minded perfect efficiency demands. But again, this hold is just... <laughs> It throws me off because it's easier than what I'm used to. Should I do this room now? Probably not. Is there a secret in the middle? I looked at that and decided there wasn't, because there's no... Unless I can step off a platform somewhere, and I would need a way back, and there is none. So, no, nope, nothing in the middle. Unless it's like, you get to it with a stairway or something. Oh, hey, is that the... That almost looks like a Goblin King, but he doesn't have a crown. Hmm. So it looks like... Slot the goblins into the spots to open the way to the crownless king. I mean, a goblin king is a character. He doesn't have the behavior of a normal goblin, so I'm assuming that's why this king is not wearing a crown. Um, so use this to gain access to goblins. Put them in the spots, these four. Yeah, probably this one last if I want to whole flood all at once. Or maybe this one first if I want to deal with them one by one. Yeah, so what I could do is open that, kill all goblins but one, put him in there to allocate some more for this. Then drop all those trapdoors to get at those and finish the room. Okay, I don't see immediately any nuances I'm missing there. So kill all goblins but one. And I can drop trapdoors as long as I leave at least one there. I'll, I'll leave that one there for now. Careful, I'm not being, not being careful enough. Good, good. Is there a way I can do this so that you'll just get trapped on that arrow? Yes. Well. Let's see here. Eh, yeah, I'll just fight two at once or something. Hoo boy. Sure. All right, who's going to be my worker? One of you? Or one of you, maybe? Looks like you in there, you're going to be the winner. Or the loser, depending on how you look at it. You get to live for slightly longer than your friends. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> wow. Alright, so how will I work this out? Three at once is a pain. Hey, you're trapped on an arrow. That's perfect. I will take that. 
Um, so trapped on an arrow can't help me. I do need one of you alive through this. I could do this, and I have done that, I guess. Um, I could do that, and I will do that, I guess. That being put one there. Let's see, I prefer like this. Yes. Okay, so that's open. Wait a minute. Shoot, I did exactly the wrong thing. Okay, so if I, instead of that, go up here, this will be fine. Don't want to run out of goblins. I need a steady supply. Okay, now I can do this. And I can just use this little corridor here to reduce the numbers. Good. Easy. Okay. You go there. Thank you. Good. Can I repeat that once? Trying to use the terrain to get an advantage here. There we go. That will almost do. Man, there we go. Someday I should just play a hold that's like a whole lot of goblin fighting just to build up my reflexes for these guys because I'm so slow at it. I've watched other players who can do it super quick and it's a thing of beauty when it happens, but I'm just not very fast at thinking with these guys. And I wish I were faster. Ouch. There we go. Room clear. Nice. Okay, so we got something here and something over here. Oh, there's the stairs. Oh, right, I hadn't found those yet. <laughs> Alright, so just one more room to go on this floor. I see. It makes a pleasing shape. And then we'll see what's down below. I'll see you next time.